One way repeated measure ANOVA. An ANOVA with repeated measures is used to compare three or more group means where the participants are the same in each group. The one way repeated measure ANOVA is used when you have just one independent variable and one dependent variable. We all know exercise known to have many benefits, including protection against obesity. In order to investigate this idea, the researcher recruited 15 participants who underwent a three-week exercise training program. In order to determine weight had been reduced, the researcher measured the weight at baseline level and one week into exercise program, two week into exercise program and after third week of the exercise. Researcher wants to investigate does exercise effect on reduction of weight. Here we have the data of this research. So we have the weight of the participant at baseline. So we will enter this data into SPSS. And uh, here, you know, uh, in variable view, I have entered the data, the scores of the weight at baseline, scores of the weight at week 1 and week 2 and week 3. So simply in uh, variable view, I have written here the baseline, week 1, week 2, week 3 and type is numeric and width is 8 and decimal 0 and B. I have labeled the baseline weight number 2, week 1, weight after 1 week, week weight after 2 week, weight after 3 week. So go to data view. Now I apl uh, apply one way repeated mere NOVA for this purpose. Go to analyze general linear model and repeated mere NOVA. In repeated mere NOVA, here you will write the level. We are measuring the four level. So add it and name of the very measure is week. So you will define it. Okay. So you will select your target variable and with the help of arrow button goes to the within subject and here you will press the button EME means and the factor variable goes to the display means and press compare mean effect and here you will select the bone frowny and press the button continue and you will go press the button option and here you will select descriptive statistics estimates of effect size and press the button continue if you want to draw a plot you can do it and with the help of arrow goes to axis horizontal axis add now you can choose line chart and bar chart here i am selecting bar chart and press continue and press the button ok and get the output in this output first you see the descriptive statistics this tells you the mean average mean of baseline after one week and after the two week three week and uh, then you will focus on this test within subject effects actually this here we have to make sure whether this data violated the assumption of sophistry. So look at the Muchle test of sophistry. The Muchle indicates equal variances not assumed, which further describes sophistry assumed violated. So in this data, assumption of uh, sophistry has been violated. So we will not select sophistry assumed. So we'll select the slot of green geysers. We will select this slot, and this indicates the F value is 60. 0.399 which is significant and uh, the mean score of this signif F significant F, F value indicate the mean scores for weight were statistically significant so I have entered the values in the tables so you will make like this table and uh, this indicate significant uh, different among four groups of weight the uh, weight of the participant at baseline and uh, weight of the participant at uh, one week uh, after exercise and uh, two weeks after, after exercise and three weeks after exercise but uh, this uh, tell you only about uh, the significance level 
among four groups. The result presented in the table informed us that we have overall significant differences in mean, but we don't know where those differences occurred. This table presents the result of bone froning. So, this multiple pairwise comparison uh, results of bone froney post hoc test which allows us to discover specific mean differed. Remember if your overall ANOVA result was not significant, you should not examine the pairwise comparison table but in this case our uh, ANOVA is significant. You can check here. This ANOVA is significant so we can uh, compare the pairwise comparison. This compare, pairwise comparison indicates uh, in this column I and J column and uh, this is the factor 1, factor 2, factor 1, 2, 3, 4 and we see that weight was significantly reduced after 1 week, 2 week and 3 week exercise. So this is all about one way ANOVA.